join us in this episode of Focus Outdoors Television as we transition into late season pheasants in the Redfield, South Dakota area, which is the pheasant capital of the world. As the weather is cooling down, the action is heating up. Follow along, you're going to see just that. All the flankers. We have guys kind of slightly ahead of where the dogs are. Slightly ahead. Yep. And then what that does, it helps keep these birds pinned in, and then if they do flare up ahead a little bit too far, you guys will get shots. And don't be afraid to kind of look over your shoulder a little bit, because you know sometimes the birds are going to come up slightly too high. So if they come out behind you, you have to wait till they're. Yeah, just spin around on them and wait till they, you know, get out. I can see you. There's three. Another one! There you go! Holy cow! We don't got enough dogs. 
Get him up, puller! How many birds we got down in here? Watch on the end! Watch on the end! High Point Pet Foods presents Country Creations Dog Foods, offering quality nutrition for the life of your canine companion. To fuel the fire of puppyhood into keeping the energy level high of an active young dog, optimizing the performance of the hard charging adult, or having a quality diet for your senior canine companion. Country Creations has you covered with their quality formulas. Get in touch with High Point Pet Foods today. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels is your full-time gun dog training facility. For over 30 years, we have customized our training to fit each individual gun dog. We know it takes a well-trained gun dog to handle wild birds. Make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gun Dog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels, where experience equals excellence. Dakota Pheasant Guide offers the best wild pheasant hunts from the Glacial Lakes area of South Dakota west to the Missouri River. Packages available include everything from self-guided to fully guided hunts. Book your bird hunting adventure now. Fisherman, iTime Promotions is your ticket to an enjoyable and successful day on the water. Call Dennis Foster for your outdoor adventure of a lifetime.
pulled up. Yep. We got a point right here. One of us got it. Catch him up. That's why every single time. Catch yeah. him up. Come on, to me. Let's get him up. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is basically. And that's not so high out. Come. <laughs> that's that right there. going to be putting what I feel to be the most innovative hunting vest to date to use. We just happen to have the good fortune of hunting with Jake Lindemann, uh, the developer of the Chief Upland Vest, on opening weekend of the season. He's been selling the heck out of them, just happened to get a few to us here just before the end of the season. And you're going to find out it's more than just a hunting vest per se. It's more of an upland hunting system. Uh, we'll show you just exactly how versatile the thing is during the hunt and after the hunt we'll spend a little bit of time on it.
All right, we're just wrapping up our season here. Had a great season. And a lot of what we do depends on our gear. And it's, it's just vitally important. Literally, we are hunting every single day that the season is open. Just had the good fortune this year at a long-term group comeback, the Dave Pawmeyer group, which is a ton of fun. They brought a new fellow with them this year, Jake Linneman, and he come up with a product which is a vest, and it's probably the most overlooked item that we use. We think about our boots and our guns and our shells and our so forth, but these vests are obviously what carries everything that's vital to us, whether it be our shells, putting birds in, so forth. We got uh, a version sent out to us right here at the end. He's selling the heck out of them. Obviously, people like them. Had a chance to let Brandon field test it. Had Larry field test it. Now, I'm gonna kinda let these guys run through some of the features that they do like. Okay, yeah, uh, one of the things that we really liked about it is adjustability. Um, your, your chest, you can adjust your all four different straps. Um, you can leave one open if you want a little more freedom, or if you get in a little tighter gear, you, you can tighten things up. So that was really nice to have that adjustability on that. It's all set up for a hydration pack, so you can hook up your hydration hose and everything, which is really important in the beginning of the year. Exactly. When it's hot, but don't forget in the winter time, you start trudging through the snow like we were today. Midwest Gundog Kennels is your full-time gundog training facility. For over 30 years, we have customized our training to fit each individual gundog. We know it takes a well-trained gundog to handle wild birds. Make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gundog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gundog Kennels, where experience equals excellence. Make your next day on the water even better with Airwave Pedestal, the only air suspension system that can be custom adjusted to the weight of the rider. No unreliable springs, no oil-filled shocks to leak. Our patented design utilizes a two-stage suspension system to smooth out the roughest ride, a limiting travel to an industry-leading two inches. This boating season, enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Find out how at airwavepedestal.com. Dakota Pheasant Guide offers the best wild pheasant hunts from the Glacial Lakes area of South Dakota west to the Missouri River. Packages available include everything from self-guided to fully guided hunts. Book your bird hunting adventure now. Fisherman, iTime Promotions is your ticket to an enjoyable and successful day on the water. Call Dennis Foster for your outdoor adventure of a lifetime. Another successful season here at Dakota Pheasant Guide, uh, Spink County, South Dakota. Once again, shameless plug, hunted just north of Redfield, South Dakota, pheasant capital of the world. Had the good fortune of getting Andrew Johnson up here to hunt with us and his son and daughter, Libby, Gavin sitting over there, camera shy, quite frankly, but beautiful day, January 2nd, I guess it is here, gorgeous day, touch of snow, birds are grouped up, 
Saw a lot of birds, shot a lot of birds. And I want to throw a little uh, kudo to Andrew. Andrew's helped me a lot over the years. He's an editor, an extremely good writer, well known. If you've read anything in the outdoor world, you've seen Andrew's work, Pheasants Forever stuff. You name it, but we got Libby out today. Yeah. And I'm gonna throw it to Dad, and I'm gonna let you two go back and forth what transpired with your first bird. Um, I just like to see that the bird's standing there and the dogs were pointing at it, and it just got up, and first shot, I banged it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't believe she hit it. That's and terrible, Dad. Well, you, you know. knew she was gonna hit it. But this is the first time she'd ever carried a gun. Um, we're taking advantage of the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks. Um, because of COVID and everything, they haven't had their normal hunt safe classes, so she's been doing the online version. Um, she hasn't finished yet, so today we took advantage of the mentor program. So I didn't carry a gun. Um, she carried the gun today when she hit it. I mean, I, it's just one of those proud moments that I'll never forget. I'll ne I don't, I remember Gavin's first bird like it was yesterday and I, I know I'll never forget it. I remember my first bird. Dog on point. We got a point here. No, it, but it, there's a lot of stuff to step on and trip. That's why I'm staying out here. Oh, no, not bad. You can shoot through most of it. A lot of times what I do, even if it ain't a good shot, I throw one into them just to slow them down for the guys on the outside, even if you're shooting branches. Are you pointing or are you just looking stupid? Hang up here, guys. Come on, get in here. Help him out. Right there! Good shot! Good job! Oh! Get him, Bowler! Get him! Hey folks, Dennis Foster here, Focus Outdoors TV. We're just about ready to wrap up our season here and it's been a heck of a good season. Uh, heck, we're into January 2nd, I believe it is. 35 degree day, gorgeous day. A couple youngsters out hunting, got Andrew Johnson, got Livy and Gabby, and Gavin, excuse me. Uh, you got your first bird today. I wasn't physically right there. Kind of give us a rundown of what, what all happened there, guys. Well, I always tell them to be ready right when we get out of the vehicle because you never know. So we got out and at the end of a corn strip, a rooster broke. He was just standing there. And then he, he flew, 
no one else shot and Olivia shot and I said, holy crap, she hit it. And it hit the ground running and then we had some really good dog work and tra chased it down a fence line probably another 100 yards and they dug it out of there. So her first bird, um, we had a clean shot and then we were able to witness some really good dog work. You know, so, and, I, and then Gavin was crushing them all day. One of the interesting things too is she's just shooting a little 28 but it goes to show you the efficiency of a 28 gauge, and that bird was out there. That, uh, bird, that bird was all 35 yards. You know, and I'll throw a shameless plug in here for a Fiocchi, but shooting hot shells, uh, even the smaller gauges will knock these birds down. Yeah, it just goes to show good shot, good shell has good results. That's all there is to it. You know, another thing he alluded to is the dogs too. You know, you probably would have never found that that bird without a dog. And so with that, yeah, we got our limit here today. We're gonna clean them up, run back to the lodge, and we're gonna throw them in some oil. We're gonna we're gonna chew them up. Alrighty, good enough. Let's uh, get after the cleaning before she gets dark and go eat. Let's get to it. <laughs>